Hi there, this is Jacob John from Be Good Academy. In my previous video, I had told you a little bit about IELTS listening tips. What exactly you have to do, what you have to follow and how you can train your brain in such a way that you can do your listening test confidently and get a 9 upon 9. In today's video, I'm going to say a little bit about the, some of the speaking tips, a little bit about the hidden speaking tips that actually will be really helpful for you when you're going to appear for your IELTS speaking examination or your speaking test. Let it be a remote test or let it be a face-to-face -face examination with an examiner. So keep watching this video. Alright, so what are those tips? Well, when you listen to these tips, you might be wondering, who doesn't know this? It's so common. It's so familiar. But still, let me just remind you. Even though these tips are familiar, you might have watched this in a couple of other videos or you might have even gone through these particular tips online, the official website of the so-called business partners of IELTS. Let me just tell you, you have to print it on your brain. You have to bring it down deeply. So what are those tips? Let's just see one by one. The first tip what I want to tell you is like speak with confidence. It's really, really, really important for you to speak with confidence and not only speaking with confidence, it should be spontaneous. You should not take time to go on thinking, giving a little bit of a pause, let it be short pause, let it be long pause. Speak with confidence and it should be spontaneous. Do not worry if you are making mistakes. Let it be grammatical inaccuracies or let it be any sort of mistakes. Do not worry. Do not get over concerned and ruin the flow of your speaking. If you do not know the answer, please feel free to say that. I'm so sorry. I have no idea about it. In the first section of speaking, in the last section of speaking, I'm not talking about the cue card or the task card section. That's the main section and the middle section of speaking. Well, no itself is an answer. If you do not know about what the examiner is talking to you, asking to you, make sure that you let them know that you have no idea regarding that particular topic. And the next one that I want to tell you is please clarify your question. When the examiner is asking you something, you're not able to understand, you're not getting an idea regarding what you have been asked, please clarify you know, rather than asking abruptly or rather than asking randomly in a, in a not at all polite manner, make sure that. Could you please rephrase the question? I'm so sorry I didn't get to you. I hope you don't mind. These are some of the subtle ways that you can ask the examiner to rephrase the question in some other way and make you understand. Make sure that you do not use this particular phrase for all the questions that the examiners are asking you. If the question is not at all understandable to you in any way, please ask for clarification. Do not answer with a yes or no. Expand your answers. Speak more than the examiners. That is what exactly the examiners are also looking for. We all know that officially four criteria are being given for IELTS speaking. If they have to put marks under each and every criteria, obviously they want you to speak. Because after all, they're not checking for your IQ. They're not checking for your general knowledge regarding the topic. They're only looking for your genuinity in your English language. So please embrace your English language ability. Embrace the capacity of you, how you can perform your speaking in English. That's the beauty of this particular examination. Anyhow guys, so these were a couple of tips that I just wanted to tell you even if those tips are familiar, I think that these tips are going to boost your confidence. Stay tuned for more tips not only in speaking of IELTS but also in listening module, writing module and reading module of IELTS. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Once again, this is Jacob John from Be Good Academy.